when they mention Munkums, or he mentioned Munkums, Munkums is what he calls everybody else in the world apart from uh, um, his mother, his auntie, and his uh, and his doctor. I'll tell you why he calls them Munkums if I can find that. Um, Yeah, I've changed what I'm going to read now. He's talking about uh, what he learned about when he, when he was a little kid. He learned that he couldn't talk to his, his dead sister out loud because uh, that bothered his mother and the doctor. Another thing I learned not to say out loud was Munkum. Munkums are all the people in the world except for Mum, Auntie Shirley and the Doc. They're called monkums because they come to me in my dreams as horrible, scary things with hairy monkey bodies and long, and long grasping arms and bandy legs and little human heads with vicious grinning mouths with their lips pulled back over nasty big monkey teeth. That's what other people are to me. Terrible things that want to rip me apart and eat me. Monkums. The first time I said it in front of mum, she told me I mustn't say anymore. Why not? I asked her. You can't call people monkeys, Elliot. Monkums, I corrected her, not monkeys. Well, that's as maybe, she said, which made no sense to me at all. But people might think you're saying monkey, like I just did, and they might think you're being horrible to them. She gave me a look. You don't want anything, anyone to think you're being horrible to, to them, do you? I told her I didn't, and since then, I never use the word when I'm on my own or with LMA. LMA's his, uh, his dead sister. Not that it makes any difference. The way I react to monkums, screaming my head off and running away in terror, they must think I'm mad anyway. So what does it matter if they think I'm horrible as well? And besides, even at, the age, even at that age, three or four years old, I was very rarely seeing anyone else apart from Mum and Shirley and Doc. So the chances of me upsetting a monkum by calling them a monkum were virtually non-existent. I wish this was easier. I wish I could just lay my hands on your head and transfer what's inside me to you. I wish you could be me, if only for a moment, so you'd know exactly how I feel. But that's not going to happen, is it? Wishes never come true.